On today's Kids Corner, Liz is dying to meet Carter J. Because I am a rock star, and I rocked the place last night, yeah. as you well know. And remember, I did come in first place. Thank you. How did you find out that Carter J was singing the national anthem at the baseball game tonight? We are here because I have to meet Carter J and tell him about my win at the talent competition. Oh, boy. I just know when he hears me sing, he's going to be impressed, and he'll give me permission to use his songs and might even invite me on his tour. But... Stay tuned. for the next Christian recording artist par excellence. Make way for the one who will soon be touring with Carter J. Roll out the red carpet, he is here. Another honor for the big guy. Liz, give it up. Liz, I know you're good, but all you did was win first place at the school talent contest. Well, first place? Yeah, but you didn't win Shireen Idol or anything like that. I mean, serious. Come on, Spike. I figure this is the prelude to my big break, and I'm not going to mess it up. Look, I'm gathering the coolest kids the I know cool kids. to be a part of my fan club, and then maybe we can do a video of my song. Video? You could play the drums or something. Lucille well, could be in it, too, and I'll play it on my radio station, and I'll put it no. on the web, and I know the video is going to go viral. Oh, you mean viral like a bad case of chicken pox? Please. Well, maybe your parents and grandma would watch a video of you doing someone else's song, Liz, but three people won't make it viral. Come on. Well, I just don't think this one's original enough to go anywhere. Spike, every viral video begins with just one person, yeah. and that one person tells somebody else, and then those two people tell two others, and Right, Liz, I, I know how it works, okay? But it's not going to happen. Come Carter on. J's already recorded that song, and it's gone platinum. And in case you haven't noticed, you don't sound anything like him. Besides, you need to get permission from Carter J even to use his song, which I'm sure you don't have. Right. Permission. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, I need to meet him. What? Because that is all it would take. Because I am a rock star, and I rocked the place last night, yeah. as you well know. And remember, I did come in first place. Yeah, against three dancing sixth graders and a violin soloist who broke one of her strings. And that was lucky. Well, let's face it, the only things you got out of this are a blue ribbon and something to talk about today when Mr. B asks us to share our dream job for career week. Oh, dream job, yeah. But, but let's just say I agree to play this song with you for the video. How do you plan to do it? Well, like I said, I need to gather my fan club. Right. I'll get a group of the coolest kids we know from church and school, <sighs> and as I'm playing, they can be screaming and yelling like the kids do at Carter Day's concerts. Yes. Come on, I think having kids screaming for me would make me a lot more convincing, don't you? Oh, yeah, as long as they don't scream for you to stop singing. Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and what kids do you think would be willing to do this anyhow? Lucille and Julia? Or Cammie? Well, well, like those two guys over there on the basketball court. They're yeah. cool. Other kids look up to them. I guess. Oh, and that group of girls over by the drinking fountain. Hmm. That one in the middle screams really loud. Yeah. So she would be good. And, of course, Lucille and Julia. Hey, wait a second. Who's that other girl with them today? I haven't seen her before. I don't know who she is. I think she's new. Well, she doesn't look like she would excitedly scream about anything. No. Besides, she dresses funny. So no video appearance for the new girl. So well, aren't see. you Go being kind of mean? What? You keep telling me Christians are supposed to be kind. <sighs> Spike, please. This has nothing to do with being kind. Really? This is about my video. We have to make me look professional. <laughs> now that's impossible. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? Hey. Hey. You two look serious this morning. Yeah. Hey, Liz, congratulations on winning first place at the talent competition last night. Thank you, thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You did a good job. And that's my favorite Carter J song. Yeah, me too. It's awesome. Oh, and this is Goldie Dakota. She just moved here and is going to be in our class. Oh, hey. hi, Goldie. Hello. Hey, uh, Lucille, can I talk to you privately for a minute? Uh-huh. Well, go, go ahead, Lucille. I, I'll be okay. Hey, what's this all about? You were being kind of rude to Goldie over there. What? Come on, it's her first day at school, and she's new and she's shy. Oh, she's fine over there with Julia. Mm. Listen, Lucille, this is important. I need mm -hmm. to talk to you about helping out with my video, and what? I need you and Julia to be in my fan club, mm -hmm. and I didn't want Goldie to hear. Fan club? What do you mean? Yeah, my fan club. Huh? Look, winning the talent competition last night might mm -hmm. be my big break. Come well, on, you know Liz. What? You know, what? you did a good job at yeah. the talent show, but it wasn't really that big of a deal. Oh, you know, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Congratulations to those who participated in last night's talent show. You all did a good job. Oh, yeah, thanks.
Thanks, Mr. Jim. And Liz, congratulations for winning first place. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'd like to introduce a new member of your class. Oh, yeah. Goldie Gekota. Uh-huh. Please welcome her. Yeah. Oh, welcome. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Welcome her. Yeah. What's that? I'd also like to hear how you're enjoying career week. Have you thought about your dream job? Oh, yeah, I want to be a doctor. My goal is to be a fashion designer. I want to be an archaeologist who digs up ancient Greek ruins. Mm, cool. Sounds like a noble aspiration, Spike. Oh, yep. oh, Mr. Weaver, Mr. Liz, yes. what would you like to do? I plan to be the next Carter J. I want to be the next Christian rock star because Carter J is my hero. Oh. I want to tour the world with Carter J. Oh, and maybe Carter J would even guest star on my radio station. Oh. I, I think, think that Carter we J- get the point, Liz. Yeah. Mike, you are the best friend ever. Thank you. How did you find out that Carter J was singing the national anthem at the baseball game tonight? Well, I read it online, but Liz, we still have a big problem. We don't have any tickets. I'm not even sure why we're here. We are here because I have to meet Carter J and tell him about my win at the talent competition. Oh, boy. I just know when he hears me sing, he's going to be impressed, and he'll give me permission to use his songs and might even invite me on his tour. But, Liz, this is a big game. The tickets have been sold out for weeks. Focus. (sighs) Forget about all that and help me figure out a way to get inside. Fine. Look, let's go around back. If we're lucky, we might might find a place where we can get past the fence. Hey, hey, Liz. What, what, what? There's a spot where the fence is kind of bent. Hey. We could probably crawl under there. That might work. Yeah. You were right behind the outfield bleachers. We could crawl up and mix with the crowd. Nobody would ever know we didn't buy tickets. Well, you go first since we're doing this all for you. Chicken. <laughs> okay, lift up that part sticking out there. Okay. Okay, here we go. Gonna... Oh, okay. oh, man. Oh, Spike, can you hold yeah. up any higher? I'm geeking as hard as I can. Oh, I can't oh, make Liz, it Liz, Liz, quick, what, someone's what, coming. What, we oh, gotta get out of here. Okay, okay. Hello, boys. What's going on here? Um, I certainly hope you aren't trying to get into the game illegally. Oh, Uh, no, 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 sir. I just dropped my money, and it rolled under the fence, and I needed to get it. I don't see any money under the fence. Um, Uh, No, because I already found it. Uh, Uh, See, here it is. I've got it right here in my pocket. You boys need to move along, and if I catch you trying to get under the fence again, you'll be in big trouble, understand? Yes, sir. Lost money or no lost money. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Yes. I can't believe you just lied to a security officer twice. What? Are you trying to get us thrown in jail or Relax, something? Relax, Spike. He's gone. Yeah, I he? think we should go, too. This was a bad idea. Come on. We can't give up now. We've got to get into the game. Why? I need to meet Carter J and tell him I won the talent show. Like I said, even getting in the game won't guarantee you'll get to meet him. Come on. I say let's go while the going's good. And I say we need to go back to the main gates again. <sighs> Maybe we can find a big family and sneak in with them. Come on. They're not even going to notice two extra kids. I don't like this. Come on. On, Spike, let's go. Okay, now look for a family with a bunch of kids. Okay. You know, where the dad is holding the tickets and everybody else is just kind of trailing in behind him. Liz, look. What? Here what? comes a whole group of guys on me. Oh, hey, cool. Okay, now kind of walk beside them like we belong. Okay. Just keep walking through the turnstile. Mm-hmm. Don't look back and don't look nervous. Nervous. Mm-hmm. See, see, I told you we could get in. Yeah. Come on, let's get moving. Kind of zigzag through the crowd. Okay. Hey, what? I think that guard is following up on oh, us. Oh, no, come on, just keep moving, okay. just keep moving. Okay. Uh, hey, look, hey, cool. there's Carter <laughs> J waiting to... You two <laughs> didn't get the message, oh, did you? No. This time, you need to come with me to the security office. Oh, now you've done it, Liz. We'll probably be thrown in jail. Oh, come on, I'm sure they don't throw you into jail for sneaking into a baseball game, do oh, they? I think we're about to find oh, out. Oh, man. Okay, sit. Yes, sir. We don't take kindly to kids sneaking into the games. Yeah. I already caught you squeezing under the fence. That should have been a warning right there. Look, we're sorry. Really, we are. We just really needed to meet Carter J, and we knew he was singing the national anthem today. Yeah. Can't you just let us in for a minute? Please? All we need to do is talk to him. Right. Don't you think that's why everyone wants to get in? A lot of people want to meet the players and get their autographs. Uh Wanting to see someone is no excuse for not paying for your tickets. Right, right. right. Now stay put. I'll be right back. Right. Hey, listen, Liz. What? At least you're getting to hear Carter J sing, even though you had to lie to get here. Yeah, great. And after all that trouble, we still can't see him or meet him. Right. And now we have to face our parents. Uh I wonder if we could get home without them knowing we were gone. Don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Now, what are your names? Oh, uh, Liz, or er, Lizardo Lacerda. Spike Race Runner. Liz and Spike, you're having quite a day. Yeah. Huh. 
First you were caught crawling under the fence, and then you were caught sneaking into the stadium by mingling with a group of scouts. Yeah. That's dishonest. Yeah. And comes with a $500 fine what? and huh? a restriction from attending games for the rest of the year. Wait, $500? Where will we get that kind of money? We're, we're just, just kids. You might be just kids, but you were smart enough to break oh, the rules. come on. You should have thought about the punishment before sneaking into the game. We didn't know! Now, since you're minors, we need to call your parents. Oh, no. no. Please, I want you no. to call home. Oh, I'll listen to what on. you say and then take it from there. Please, no. Liz, you go first. Oh, man. Here's the phone. Oh, yes, sir. I can't believe you two went to the city this weekend. Yeah. What were you thinking? Oh. Did you really imagine that you could be gone that long and not have your parents find out about it? Duh! Oh, you're just jealous what? because you didn't have an exciting adventure like we did. Uh, I heard that you're grounded for a month and not allowed to watch TV or use the computer. It was worth now, it. that does not sound like much of an adventure to me. Aha, uh -huh, Lucille, that is where you're wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We went to hear Carter J sing the national anthem, and we did hear Carter J sing the national anthem. What? We uh, even had box seats. Exactly. Wait a uh -huh. minute. Didn't I hear something about a $500 fine and not being allowed into any games for the rest of the year? No. Nope. The security officer said we were young what? and so cool looking that we didn't have to pay. Oh, you know what? Yeah. The young, I believe. The cool looking, I don't. Oh, Your really? dad told my dad that you were stuck in the security office and didn't get to see any of the gang. Unless, of course, you count that office as a box. Well, it is square. Whatever. You might have heard Carter J, but you could have heard and seen him if you'd stayed home and watched him on your TV. Oh, Why would you lie to your parents about going to the game? I really don't get you two. What's to get? Liz thinks he's the next Carter J oh, and is boy. willing to do anything to meet him and get invited to be part of his tour. Exactly. Um, yeah. uh, I could have gotten you tickets. <laughs> what? Um, well, C Carter J, he he's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now who's the liar? Yeah. Okay. Alright, guys, knock it off. Be nice. I like him a crime. Well, yeah. he he is. Uh. Girl, uh, Goldie, yeah. right? Yes. right? You are talking like a crazy person. I'm <laughs> but, sorry. But. but, but <laughs> oh, nice going, guys. Oh, now you made her cry. Oh, come on, Lucille. What? Why would she say something like that? Yeah. He's um, obviously not her brother. Right. Her last name is Gek. Dakota, and his is James, yeah. which is not true. Yeah, Carter J's family lives in California, not Tareen. Exactly. Well, I don't right. know why she said it, but I do know she's having a really difficult time fitting in here, and I think you guys should try a little kindness. Fine. <laughs> Lucille, how wonderful to have a visit from you. Uh, but I can tell you have something on your mind. Oh, uh, yeah, do, Grandpa. Have you heard about that new girl at school, Goldie Dakota? Hmm. Can't say that I have. Well, she moved in over on Seaweed Trail, and I've been trying to be her friend. Oh, that sounds good. Actually, it's been very, very hard, because Goldie is quiet and shy, and even though I spent a lot of time with her, I don't really know very much about her. She doesn't talk very much. Oh, some people are like that, Lucille. They just like to keep things inside. I know. Problem is, well, you know how proud Liz is that he won the middle school talent contest, right? <laughs> yes. And I've heard about that trip he and Spike took to the city to get into the baseball game. Yeah, the trip was exactly what we were talking about at lunch the other day, and Liz and Spike are going on about how they actually got to hear Carter J sing, and they didn't sound even a little sorry that they were lying, but that's not my point. Well, that might not be your point, but I'm sorry they're proud of what they did. Well, to make matters worse, in the middle of the conversation, Goldie says that Carter J is her brother. And of course, we know that he isn't. Mm. But then Spike and Liz, they got really mean to her, and she ran away from the table crying. Well, fitting into a new town and school is difficult, Lucille, especially at your age. You know, sometimes kids pretend they're something they're not. They, they make up past honors or accomplishments in order to look good in the eyes of their new friends. You know, maybe Goldie is doing the same thing, Lucille. She sees how excited Liz is about Carter J, so she says he's her brother in order to make friends. Well, so what should I do? <laughs> exactly what you're doing, Lucille. Keep being her friend. Oh. That's what the Lord wants you to do. Help her to fit in for who she is so she doesn't have to make up stories to impress you. 
Well, what if she brings up Carter J again? I'm not sure she will. I think she was trying to impress Liz, and since he reacted by teasing her instead of believing her, she knows it's not working. You just keep praying for her and be there for her. All right, I'll try. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> You're welcome, Lucy. Hey. How's that going? No TV, no computer life. That working out for you? It's a breeze. <laughs> two weeks down, two to go. Uh, but sometimes I talk my dad into letting me watch whatever he's watching on TV. And I just tell him I need the computer for homework. Oh, man, you're unbelievable. Oh, great. Look, the future Carter J has his guitar with him today. What's up with that? You sure can get in a lot of practice when the TV and computer are off. Enough. Hey, maybe he's written a new song. Uh, greetings, fellow classmates. Uh-huh. What's up, Liz? <laughs> oh, I have fantastic news. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Carter J is coming right here to Doreen Auditorium next month. Wow. <laughs> and I might add, by that point, we will no longer be grounded. Cool. How much are tickets? Oh, a lot. My grandma said she'd pay half of it as my birthday present. Uh-huh. And thankfully, I've got enough in my savings account to pay for the other half. Wow. So, Spike. Yeah. You need to see if your dad will let you get a ticket. I'm not sure this is the best time to ask for money for a Carter J ticket. Come on. You know, being grounded and everything. No. Well, Lucille, how about you? Well, I really like Carter J, but I don't think I could ever afford to buy a ticket right yeah. now. Well, tickets go on sale at noon today, and I was actually thinking about bringing my cell phone to school to call, but I figured if I got caught with my phone in my backpack, I'd be in even more trouble, and I guess I don't need that right now. Yeah. Well, you know, Goldie and I are going to be in the park after school collecting leaves for our science project. Maybe you guys could stop by and let us know how it goes. Okay, we're almost done. Yep, we have at least 30 different kinds of leaves, and we only needed 25. Awesome. Of course, if we got more, we might get a little extra credit. Mm, We have a lot of different colors, too. Yeah, we do. Maybe the colors will also get us a better grade. Yeah. Uh Uh-oh, here come Liz and Spike. They don't look very happy either. No tickets, huh? Would you believe they were already sold out when I called? Yeah. Well, the Turin Auditorium isn't all that big. Oh, but still. I mean, my grandma even said she'd pay half the cost. Yeah. I'm so mad. Yeah. How am I going to impress Carter J if I never even get the chance to meet him? Well, the lady I talked to said they were sold out by 3 exactly. o'clock. Oh. Like, that's fair for kids in school. Well, I, I can get you tickets. I, I told you what? Carter J is my brother, and I can bring them to school on Friday. <sighs> Look... Goldie, I don't know what you're trying to prove, but I'm really tired of you telling us that you're Carter J's sister. Yeah, me too. I mean, we uh, know his family lives in California. No, they don't live in Tareen. So I, just uh, stop making up uh, stories, okay? Okay. Why would you make up stories that you can't prove? Yeah. Stop, stop it. Right. Stop it. Leave her alone, what? both of you. Just stop right now, Liz. You say you're a Christian, but you're certainly not acting Lucy. like it. Come on, Goldie, let's go. Uh, See? What did we tell you, Lucille? Where's your good friend Goldie today? Didn't show up, did she? Oh, now there's a surprise. Well, I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Yeah, like she's not Carter J's sister and she's afraid to face you. Or maybe maybe she's sick. Oh, right. Maybe she caught the flu or something. Yeah, right. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so maybe I don't know where Goldie is today, but I'm glad I've become her friend. You know, she's quiet, but once you get to know her, she's friendly and she's smart. She did a good job helping me on that leaf project. And besides, God tells us to love others. Oh, yeah. Lucille, well, you can defend her all you want, but she's still weird. Yeah. She doesn't need defending. You yeah. just have Lucille to get... Lucille Monitor, please come to the office. Lucille Monitor, please come to the office. Oh, I wonder what that's all about. I hope nothing happened at home. What's going on with Lucille? Yeah. You only get called to the office if you're in trouble or there's some emergency. Yeah, and I can't imagine Lucille being in trouble. <laughs> now, if it were you or me who was called, that's a different story. <laughs> it always is. <sighs> oh, wait, there she is. She's coming back already. What's going on, Lucille? Yeah, what's up? I don't know. I'm not sure. The secretary just gave me this envelope. Uh, well, open it. Yeah. Oh, look. It's a ticket to the Carter J concert. What? Oh, look. There's a letter, too. Well, what does it say? Yeah. Uh, it says, Dear Lucille, Thank you for being my friend while I attended Victorian Middle School. My brother is Carter J. Carter James Gakoda. I don't like to talk about it because kids don't believe me, just like your friends didn't believe me. 
I also don't like to talk about it because then people want to be my friends just so they can meet Carter J, not because they like me. Here's a ticket to the concert. My mom called your mom to make arrangements. Our family will drive to the concert in Carter J's limo and we'll pick you up at your house. See you then. And tell your friends that it's too late. I can't get any more tickets. Your friend, Goldie. What's that verse Grandpa Noli always quotes to us? You mean the one that says, If you are proud, you will be destroyed. If you are proud, you will fall? Yeah, that's it. I don't know, Spike. I'm certainly a good picture of what the Bible's talking about in that verse. Hmm. Man, talk about pride messing things up. <sighs> Lucille. Yeah? You'll have to tell us all about your big night. Yeah. Because that's the closest we're going to get to Carter J. Oh, guys, last night was so, so... Oh, uh, what was the word you used the other day, Liz? Fantasterific? Yeah, that oh, was you would not believe it. Lucille, did you get to meet Carter J? Did I get to meet him? Well, first, I rode to the concert in the limo with Goldie and her parents. Wow. When we got there, we were ushered to front row oh, seats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. And then halfway through, Carter J did this kid segment, yeah. and you will not believe what happened next. What? 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 He called Goldie and me up onto the stage to sing with no him. Way. Yeah, are you serious? I am, I am. We were up there for about 15 minutes or so. Oh, Goldie, man. you know what? She's not so shy when she's around her brother. I can't believe this. Did you get to go backstage afterwards? Oh, way better than that. Oh, I went out for are... ice cream with Carter J and his family. Oh, I cannot believe this. Oh, yes. I can't believe this all happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, guys, yeah. I totally let that first place ribbon go to my head. <sighs> And then my pride made me lie, and oh, wow, did I act mean to Goldie. Mm. I sure didn't act like God would want me to, huh? Mm. Well, you're right, Liz. I'm sorry you guys lost out, but you were kind of mean about the whole thing. (laughs) Kind of mean? Oh, man, do we owe Goldie and our parents an apology, Spike? (laughs) You think? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you (laughs) guys. Tell us what? 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 I've got really good news for both of you. Yeah, So Goldie and I told Carter how much you wanted to meet him, and he promised we could all go to his concert the next time he's in town. Are you wow. serious? <laughs> that is so awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, Lucille. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least one of us is good at thinking about other people, huh? That's it for my boy, Carter J. Yeah.